Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11.06 a.m., and it's Friday, June 3rd, 2022. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the last one of these Odyssey Mushroom Elixir drinks that I got. They have some other flavors, but they're like for stress and stuff. This is the last energy one that they had, and I got it at the Aikens Natural Market in Bixby. Um, the normal ones were a little bit expensive. They're like $3.80, but they're on sale for $3. And this is around the same price, around $3, see what I mean? But um, when it wasn't on sale, it's a little bit expensive, see what I mean? Um, so definitely try to get ones on sale, you know? But um, anyway, um, this one sounds interesting, though. It's made with um, oat milk, I guess. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Cold Brew Oat Latte Odyssey Mushroom Elixir. Like, energy drink, and it's a coffee one. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we have a silver top with silver tab. Bomb's the Best Buy Dayton production code. Best Buy October. Um, it's a little bit messed up. I think maybe the 26th, 2022. Not really for sure. It's like messed up um, where it was printed. Yeah, it's in a labeled can. It's like a smooth, little bit of like a rubbery texture. Um, but um, anyway, it says Functional Mushroom Brew, Odyssey Mushroom Elixir, has our logo, it's, it's called Metatron's Cube, that's like sacred geometry or like um, some sort of like spiritual type of design, has like stars in the background, it looks pretty cool, but I think it doesn't look as good as like the other cans that I reviewed, because those ones have like a space background, this one's just like a grey background, not really too interesting, you know, just saying. But yeah, it says Energy Coffee, Cold Brew Oat Latte. It has the Cordyceps Mushrooms and Lion's Mane Mushrooms. 1,250 milligrams of mushrooms, 7.4 fluid ounces, 225 milliliters, USDA Organic. The other ones didn't say organic on them, so you want to mean, but I'm meaning we. Cordyceps 10 to 1, 1,000 milligrams. Lion's Mane 8 to 1, 250 milligrams. Caffeine 85 milligrams. So that's the same amount of caffeine as the other ones that are reviewed, like the ones that weren't coffee. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, it'll still get you a little lit, you know, just saying. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, anyway, for your mind, discover the unique power of medicinal mushrooms and delicious plant-based beverage. Boosts energy and stamina, provides focus and clarity, contains beta glucans. Odyssey Elixir supports your wellness journey with the most potent bioavailable mushroom extracts, which are only sourced from the nutritious fruiting body. Get connected to odysseyelixir.com at Odyssey Elixir has Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram logos. SKU and the recycling logo, please recycle. Shake gently and has some other codes. Nutrition pack starts as one can, 225 milliliters, amount per serving calories 130. Total fat 3.5 grams, 4%. Sodium 5 milligrams, 0%. Total carbohydrates 23 grams, 8%. Tired to fiber 1 gram, 4%. Total sugars 14 grams, includes 9 grams added sugars 18%. Protein 2 grams. Iron 1 milligram, 6%. Potassium 105 milligrams, 2%. Then it has other ingredients organic oat base, filtered water, organic oat syrup solids, and tocopherols, organic cane sugar, organic cold brewed coffee, organic natural flavors, organic sunflower oil, organic gum acacia, organic gel and gum, sodium bicarbonate, organic cordyceps mushroom extract, organic lion's mane extract, organic caffeine, vegan as you in the circle, non-GMO new preservatives, served by Odyssey Wellness, LOC, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33309, certified organic by CCUF. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. I turned on my air conditioner a little bit higher. It's already almost like 80 degrees, supposed to get up to almost close to 90s today, but anyway, yeah, anyway, I'll let you see the can right quick. I already showed you the top and the bottom, but um, anyway, like the logo looks really cool. Reminds me of like um, Full Metal Alchemist, like their alchemy symbol. Or like the Yu Gi Oh! Silivori Calcus, you know? Reminds me of like that a little bit. I don't know why, but um, this one's like messed up. It has like a. The label's like messed up going up and down it. I don't know if you really see that too well. I don't know if that's where it got messed up in like the cooler or something, I'm not really for sure. Um, but I got the best condition one that they had, you know. Um, but yeah, they have some other ones. Um, the other two that they have are like this size, but I'm um, there for like stress and stuff or relaxation. So I might get those sometime and review those. I'm not for sure though. But I'm um, you know those aren't energy drink ones, so. It's the last one, the energy drink ones that I'm going to be reviewing, I guess. These Odyssey drinks. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. So anyway, I'm going to show it off up close right quick, so hold on a minute.
Okay, I'm gonna, I just showed off the can up close and I'm gonna shake it up, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, this one might explode when I open it. I'm not for sure though, because you know it's a coffee drink. Okay, it didn't. Probably because you know it's like oat milk, I guess. But um, I opened it and it has like some specks floating inside it. Um, it's still fresh for a while though, but um, almost because it has the oat milk in it and it has organic stuff in it, I'm not really for sure. But I don't know if you can see it on my towel or not. But um, yeah, it's not really frothy. It's like a light brown. But uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like some little tiny specks in it. Maybe a little bit right over there. Um, but yeah, anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Has that nice, strong coffee scent, but sweet smelling though. Um, this probably be, be a good breakfast drink, you know, a good way to start your day and give you a good boost. And you know, it's coffee, so probably go good with like donuts or French toast or like pancakes, or, like muffins or waffles. Um, yeah, this be a good, you know, breakfast energy drink, you know, just saying. But um, anyway, has that nice coffee flavor smell, but um. Doesn't really smell too unique though. Um, doesn't say this just says coffee. Doesn't say like it's a flavored coffee or anything. Um, so normally cold brew coffee is like more like black coffee a little bit. It's like a stronger coffee, but um, this definitely more like a lighter smell though than that. But still has that um, black coffee smell a little bit though. Um, yeah, definitely a strong pungent scent. Um, definitely a rich coffee scent, you know. Very strong smelling, but still sweet though at the same time. I'm pretty good smelling, but I'm anyway. And I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Smooth. A little bit creamy. Um, but not too creamy because it's not made of like real milk and stuff, but um it's still actually pretty good though. A little bit more watered down compared to like the um Java Monsters and like the Starbucks drinks. Um, I don't know if it's because it's made with the oat milk or whatever, but um, I tried regular oat milk before, and yeah, it's actually smooth, a little bit watered down compared to like real milk, you know. But um, um, this is definitely uh, like oat milk, you know, except coffee flavored, you know. Um, this is actually pretty good. Uh, it's not a strong coffee flavor, but it's still a little strong. Has like you know original like coffee like black coffee sort of flavor you know like an espresso type of flavor but um yeah it's not really too strong though um might have a little bit of a hint of like a vanilla type of coffee but um yeah um it's still pretty good though I like this better than the high brew coffee drinks but um I don't know if I like it better than like the Java Monsters and stuff though it's actually pretty good though. Even though it's not a flavored coffee drink, it's still actually really good though. It's not too strong, um, it's not too sweet either, um, it's like, um, maybe, I mean, like, m maybe medium, I guess, um, like a medium roast or something, not really for sure though, but, um, it's still actually really good though, definitely try it if you can find it, really good coffee flavor, um, the oat milk makes it, like, smooth, and so it's, you know, you can probably drink it fast if you want to, you know, or already drink it almost all the way and down to here. So, you know, already almost drink it all, but, um, maybe if it was a little bit thicker, it might be a little bit better, but, um, it's still actually really good, though. Definitely try this. Um, wish it was cheaper, though. It's a little bit, you know, a, bit, a little bit expensive. Almost like $4 for one can when it wasn't on sale, you know, so you know what I mean? So definitely try to get one that's on sale, but, um, energy-wise, it has 85 milligrams of caffeine. doesn't have any B vitamins or anything. So I'd say energy-wise, it lasts about an hour to about two and a half hours of energy. So, oh yeah, boys, it'll still get you lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it has some mushrooms in it, but it's not like the mushrooms that get you high, though. It's not like the psychosyllabin mushrooms or whatever. I think that's what they're called. Not really for sure. It's not like those. So, you know, it doesn't get you high or anything, but, um, it may help you with stress relief, or, um, or anxiety relief a teeny bit, but, um, I don't know. These drinks, um, they didn't give me too much of an energy boost. They just made me a little bit more alert, I guess. See what I mean? But, um, I don't know how it'll work on you, though, you know, just saying, but, um, so yeah, still definitely try it. Um, it's like pretty good. Energy wise, it works good. It's, um, could have been a little bit cheaper as a cool design. It tastes good. And yeah, energy wise, it works good. So yeah, definitely highly recommend it. Um, 
has a little bit of that dry like oat milk aftertaste um like all oat milk drinks i've had before have that one weird taste to them a little bit but um it's not disgusting or anything so i'm gonna but yeah it's still good though so yeah still definitely try it um it's a little bit healthier for you too compared to like other energy drinks and stuff um so yeah definitely try it probably gonna give the cold brew oat latte odyssey mushroom elixir like coffee drink probably give it a 9 out of 10 so oh yeah boys it's lit so oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 oh yeah yeah it's pretty good definitely try it really cool interesting design so yeah definitely try to give it a 9 out of 10 anyway stay for more videos since you're watching see you guys later peace out and um this is my last energy drink review for a while because i'm out of drinks to review and um, I have a doctor appointment in a couple of weeks, so I'm not going to be drinking as much energy drinks right now. So I've been having like the chest pains and stuff, see what I mean? So yes, just see more videos, thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace out. I might bring my energy drink reviews back in the future, we shall see, it just depends. But yeah, as of right now, no more energy drink reviews until further notice, see what I mean? So yeah, peace out. Thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace out, and bye.